Man, you talk about tough breaks. I listen, I honestly feel bad for Tim Zoo. What's next? What up, YouTube? Pit Teal, Heavy Bad Boxing TV. Man, if you don't get your big goof ass in here and hit the bag, hit that like button for your boy. That helps the channel. You know, I appreciate that love. Shout out to the gang, man. My bag hitters, y'all know the count. Big shout out to my members, not just subscribers, but the members. Shine it down. Hold the cat damn phone of course my guy john out of the boogie down bx i truly appreciate y'all man now if you're catching me for the very first time please please hit that like button hit that subscribe button smash that notification button so you can get all the new content i got you rock out with your boy all right man tim zoo i look i feel bad for tim man I, I'm, I'm just keep it all the way a buck man i feel horrible for tim zoo this was the opportunity of a lifetime, man. You finally get to come to the U.S. and fight in Vegas. Uh, it's a huge fight. Um, it's against a notable name. And then that notable name in the Keith Thurman pulls out of the fight. The PBC looks to you to save the card. Tim, we need you. This tower in the Inferno is six foot six with an 80 inch arm reach. Would you please fight him to save the card? Tim says yes. Who the fuck does that on 12 days notice? Nobody. But Tim Zoo did. And in that fight with Sebastian Fundora, you have a freak accident. You catch your elbow to the top of the head. Unintentional now. He kind of did it himself, to be honest, if you Tim Zoo or uh, Tim Zoo did. It opens up a huge cut in the top of your head. You can't control uh, the blood. Unfortunately, the doctor or the corner doesn't stop the fight to get a no contest. The blood's continuously prone in your eye throughout the entire fight. You're eating a bunch of jabs. The jabs is what ultimately won Fundora this fight. And now you're back outside looking in when you were just, and it appeared to be, was going to be an easy fight for Tim Zhu. And that's just what it appeared to be. It could have been something different, taking out the elements, but it appeared that Tim Zhu, who had broken Fundora's nose, it looked like in the second round, was going to be on his way to knocking Fundora's ass out. And now you back outside looking in. Damn. Yo, that's a hell of a chain of events for Tim Zhu. And if you're really looking at the whole story and how it played out, you can't. It's hard not to feel bad for Tim Zoo. But what's next, man? Even more bad news. The commission done suspended uh, 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 Sebastian Fondor for six months due to the injuries that Tim Zoo caused him. <laughs> he. he Broke his face up so bad, they got to suspend Fundora for six months. His suspension won't be up until September. And then he's got to go through some kind of, you know, training camp or whatever. So him actually being in the ring and fighting, that'll happen either at the end of 2024 or probably the first quarter sometime of 25. This dude is sidelined. So Tim Su, he's got a quick turnaround. He only had 10 stitches on the top of his head. We know Tim likes to fight. He's fought, what, four times in the last 12 months. He's, he'll be ready to go in May, right? But no Fundora. The only good news for Tim I've heard was the fact that Lukowicz really wants to give Tim Zhu his, his rematch. Uh, I think because of the, the way the fans and the critics and the analysts have all cried for Tim Zhu, it came across actual ears that was listening and they're willing to give him and do that rematch. I do believe that because at the end of the day, Tim Zhu deserves that rematch. But unfortunately for him, it wouldn't even be able to happen until the end of the year, early next year. 
So Tim Zhu, who will be ready to go in May and start a training camp, what is he left with, man? Uh, you got a Spence, you got a Crawford. And I think the consensus is these are both two dangerous fights for Tim Zhu. Now, of course, if you're a huge Tim Zhu fan, him a huge Tim Zhu supporter, you probably think the Earl Spence, Spence fight is an easy fight. You most definitely don't think that about the Bud Crawford unless you just hang it from Tim Zhu's nuts. But both of these are decent fights. It would have been a huge money fight for Tim Zhu. Most are saying he could have made somewhere between 10 and 15 million to fight Earl Spence uh, and Dallas. Uh, and you could say this around the same number to get uh, to beat to, to, to fight Bud Crawford if they could make that happen. But now you're kind of in a situation where you know more than likely you got that rematch that you need to wait out to get to, but you're an extremely active fighter. Nobody can see Tim Zhu sitting on the sidelines for the remainder of 2024. I just, I don't believe that's going to happen. Listen, again, four or five fights over the last 15 months, four fights over the last 12 months, You, he's active. He likes to be active. Um, be in sideline for the, the the next eight months, maybe potentially. Uh, that doesn't seem that doesn't sound like Tim Zhu. Uh, if we all know Tim Zhu, he's going to be taking a fight, at least one fight, uh, before he can try and get to that rematch. But it's tricky because you want to fight the best out there, like Tim Zhu has been trying to do. And who's the best? Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence. All right, these are the best and the bigger money fights for Tim Zhu. Now we don't know how interested Earl Spence of being fighting Tim Zhu without anything on the line right now, or even a Bud Crawford without any titles on the line. But most definitely, I think people believe that it's it's um, it's money to be made in those fights. But how eager is Tim Zhu to fight one of these guys for absolutely nothing? And if he loses, which it's a possibility, let's keep it real. Maybe he loses to one of these guys. How does that affect the rematch? So you got to be extremely careful because if Tim Zhu would have walked out of here, you know, a unified champ, oh, sky, sky was the limit. You know what I'm saying? Everything would have been worth it. But that just wasn't the case. And um, you can't predict the future with either one of these fights with, for Tim Zhu. Uh, and he's just not likely to take a soft touch or, you know, fight somebody insignificant uh, moving forward uh, as he waits on that rematch with, uh, I believe that he'll get with uh, um, Sebastian Fundora. Man, I definitely want to hear y'all's thoughts on this one, man. It's just a, it's a tough break for Tim Zhu. And now again, if he wants to stay active, uh, I do believe that they're going to offer them one of those fights, uh, Bud Crawford, Earl Spence. Uh, now that the titles on, are on the line, I, I, I do believe Earl Spence would probably take a back seat and allow the Bud fight, Crawford fight to happen. Uh, but even then, maybe there's a little bit of difficulties making that fight happen as well. Um, you know, it's always elements when it comes to Bud Crawford. Uh, and, and it feels like, it seems like people will just be working against Bud. You know what I'm saying? Now he's in that situation like a Canelo or a Tank Davis where he's a free agent. He wants to co-promote. Um, you know, you kind of just want somebody to say, hey, we'll sign you to a one-fight deal to fight Tim Zoo. You know what I mean? We'll give you this, and, and, and it'd be that easy. But again, it's Bud Crawford, and more than likely Bud to mess up your plans. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments. And listen, hold up real quick. When I say Bud to mess up your plans, meaning Bud's probably going to win, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And position himself even further uh, toward whatever goal he's got going on. All right. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section, man. This is a tricky one. This is, man, you just feel bad for Tim Zoo. Definitely want to know y'all's thoughts, man. That's all I got for y'all on this one, man. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. I'm out of here. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.